You ever wonder what it's like to live in Norway? I figured I might share some things in a bunch of small videos, maybe a bit longer videos after a while. I'm just walking through the wonderful Norwegian countryside. It's autumn. Uh, it's going to rain like the clappers in a moment. I can see it's really grey up there. Just thought I'd uh, introduce the idea. So uh, yeah, I've been living here for 26 years, plus minus. Uh, it's been a kind of a roller coaster ride. I'm very happy in now. It was quite a adjustment, even coming from the UK. Well, I came from the UK via Germany and Africa, and I, you know, I've been living abroad, working abroad for a long time before I ended up in Norway. Uh, so I'm kind of used to being a permanent migrant or exile or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, Norway, eh? Lots of people ask me what it's like here, and a lot of people want to come, and most people assume it's very expensive. It is. Uh, but then again, if you get a job here, you generally earn a lot of money, so it kind of balances out. But it still is crazily expensive, especially when we have visitors. But now, with the currency, the kroner is very, very weak. It has been for ages, so it's actually quite hard for us when we go to London now, because the beer is almost as expensive as it is here, believe it or not. Yeah, so, feel free to ask me anything about living in Norway. I'm going to give you some facts or history every day trying to get into the habit of uh, making a video a day just to see if it can be done um, probably most of the time it's going to be when I'm out walking won't be any editing or very little I think uh, just keep it simple and uh, see how it goes so how did I learn Norwegian ah well I when I came here I didn't know anything uh, actually I did know a couple of swear <laughs> swear words that I'd learned from Norwegians uh, when I was in Africa, including I think my wife-to-be at the time, but I'll keep those to myself. Uh, but I really didn't know anything, and uh, when I arrived, I didn't have a job either. But I managed to. They had a system. I had a scheme there where new arrived, newly arrived people could get free Norwegian language lessons, which was a great scheme. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist anymore, as far as I know. Uh, not for just anyone turning up. Maybe for you know asylum seekers or something. I don't know, but. Uh, Anyway, at that time, so uh, oh, so I did some uh, Norwegian lessons, um, but I didn't really get very far until I finally got a, I got a job actually quite quickly after I started, so I didn't complete any courses, and then I started working in the kitchen of a restaurant, uh, and then I just said to everybody, I don't want to speak English, everyone wanted to speak English with me, and I'm like, no, I want to learn Norwegian. You guys, you speak good English already. And it was kind of tough the first uh, times, but I think it's fun, you know. I quite enjoyed it and learning something new every day. And I got very good at kitchen utensils and <laughs> cookery stuff. But my general Norwegian was a bit more limited. However, the... so I think the main thing is just to talk all the time. Um, just to try Norwegian all the time, I mean. Uh, don't give in and speak English. And uh, have the TV and radio on. Just have a constant bombardment of the language. Uh, I found that that works in many places. And now, of course, you've got internet radio or whatever, or podcasts you can listen to in foreign languages. It's basically just all about immersion. Uh, yeah. Took me about maybe a year and a half to be fluent or... Yeah, relatively. Still not that great at writing it. Never really learnt the sort of written grammar and stuff very well, but I get by. Uh, but pretty good at speaking now. And I can understand everything. Sometimes there are people with weird dialects or whatever, but yeah, most of the time I can certainly understand what's written down as well. Which is how I ended up doing translation work for the last 19 years, but that's for another video. Uh, yeah, so that's a few tips on learning a language when you're living in a different country. It's much easier, of course, if you live in a different country. It's not so easy to learn if you're not actually there. Of course, it can be done with the same immersion tactics. But it's much easier when you're hearing it all the time and having to use it. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it, really, for now. And... Uh, come back with some more tomorrow 
and I'm gonna try and get back before it, the skies open. Okay, I'm out of here.